And as Nigerians usher in the new year 2024, the presiding bishop of Redeemed Evangelical Mission, Trem, Mike Okonkwa, has charged them to focus on God as he is the only hope to survive the challenges plaguing the nation. Bishop Okonkwa will give this charge during the crossover service in Lagos, says the hope of the country does not in the hands of the leaders as the issues are not peculiar to just Nigeria. Justin Akadoye brings us details. The auditorium lights up with dancing and thanksgiving. The faithful are grateful for the year 2023, despite the huge turmoil they went through. Just before the dawn of the new year, they pray fervently hoping for a fresh start. The presiding bishop, Michael Konkwa, then takes to the podium as he makes prophetic declaration for members and indeed the nation. Whatever has been covering your face, covering the light of the countenance of God that is upon your life, today I command them to be released. Your face will shine. So as the countdown begins, 2024 saunters in at the jubilation by the congregants. Bishop Michael Conquo declares it the year of great and mighty things. He explains further the reason behind the prophetic word. And it's to us specifically that the coming year we should expect great and mighty things in different areas of our lives, in our career, in our profession, in ministry, in family, in our health, in different aspects. Indeed, the outgoing year could not have come with lots of hardship and difficulties for countries of the world. The man of God shares some insight on what to expect in the new year. That the, 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 the default is not going to offer any person any good. I can tell you that without fear of contradiction. If you're expecting any good, you're wasting your time. Your only hope now is to focus on Jesus. If you fail to do that, it, you will see it with your eyes. You will see challenges the way you have never seen before. With great expectations and hope for themselves and the country, the congregants are speaking with high spirits. There's no gain without pain. And um, the renewed hope of uh, the the present administration, to me, is a process and not a magic. So the Nigerian has to be hopeful that um, this new year, 2024, Nigeria will be prosperous. Uh, it's a work in progress, and I'm sure and I'm certain that things will be good. The year 24 for me as a year of great difference. And um, what I wish and expect, um, I want God's um, word to really work in my life. And for Nigeria as a whole, I want a, a well-structured country and God's plan to really come to stay. The service so far has been great. Because our, of our papa, our daddy, our big daddy, has impacted a lot of knowledge into us in order to go about this 2024. And we hope that the Lord will lead us and direct us and keep on blessing us to survive and to keep on going years upon years. So in the wake of the new year, having prayed and given thanks, the faithful are hopeful of a silver lining after a challenging 2023. Justin Akadonye, Positive News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.